Hey, what's going on guys? Happy New Year. Welcome to my top 10 figures of 2017. Alright guys, so as you can tell, this is way more than 10 figures, um, but I did just want to do a little breakdown of figures that I really liked this year, and let you guys know what I thought about them. Uh, so I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes, and give you guys the quickest, best explanation as to why these were my top 10 figures of the year. Alright, let's get into it. So I don't really collect Legos or anything, but I do buy these for my son. And these were some of the characters that I liked the most out of the sets that I bought that I bought him this year. Uh, the Gladiator Hulk and the Gladiator Thor are really cool. I built that set for him and took a really cool shot of it. Um, I enjoyed those figures. Really cool. The Star Lord's really cool. I bought the uh, Bellano set, kind of for myself, but mo more for my son. And the Doctor Strange because that movie was badass when it came out. Um, and then I got him the Lego Ninjago set, or a couple a couple of those mystery packs when we went and saw the movie, and we got the uh, Grandmaster, so that was a really cool figure. And I thought I'd include my top five Lego characters of the year. Alright, and these were my top four Minimates of the year. Uh, I don't buy a whole lot of Minimates, but I do buy sets when I like the characters. Um, I was real excited to get that Weapon X Wolverine. Uh, that's a really cool character. I like the design of that costume. Uh, I was excited to get that Magneto, to have the modern Magneto in the black suit and everything. That was just really cool. Uh, I was excited to get the Unworthy Thor, the true exclusive Minimates. And I was happy to get the uh, Spiral from the Weapon X Minimate sets. So those are my top four picks of Minimates for the year. Alright, so my number 10 pick for figure of the year for 2017 is going to be Mezco Green Arrow. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of pictures with him, uh, not a lot of people do, but in my opinion this is a great figure. Um, aesthetically he looks great, um, I, I'm a big fan of the pleather and the wired jacket, it looks great, I love the look right there of him putting the hood on. Um, his bow is badass, his armor is badass on his uh, shins and his forearms. Um, the holster in the back looks really good, the hair came out great, the costume came out really really good. Um, he would be closer to number one, but there's a lot of really good figures this year. And I didn't want to skip out on this figure, and looking at what I have out, honestly this was one of my favorite figures of the year. And my number nine pick for figure of the year, Marvel Legend of the year, is going to be Cyclops. Um, it was honestly a hard decision between the Netflix Wave Bullseye and the Hasbro exclusive Deadpool. Um, I really was going to consider the Bullseye figure, but Cyclops has always been a number one like custom made figure, most desired figure. I mean, we got the classic 90s X-Men costume, which everybody's wanted, and it was on the Bucky Cap mold. It was exactly what the fans wanted, so I think he's the Marvel Legend of the Year, in my opinion. I mean, there were some really good releases this year, and there was a lot, uh, there was a lot of figures I wanted to get that I unfortunately didn't get. But I'm very happy with the Cyclops. I'm happy with the costume. Uh, I do want to do that mod where they put the Old Man Logan jacket on him. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a second one. And a lot of figures have been dropping this year. So, But out of all the legends, I'd have to say he was my favorite just because he's such a desired figure. And he's the team leader. He's an X-Men. Thank you, Hasbro, for giving him to us.
So my number eight figure of the year is going to be Reveltech Yamaguchi Venom. Uh, I, I I love this figure. Um, he looks amazing in pictures. He looks amazing in person. Um, he does such cool poses. It's really cool to have this figure. Um, the way the mouth opens and you can move everything around, his face, everything is so cool in this figure. I know I haven't done a whole lot of shots with him, but man, it's such a cool figure to have. He had to be in my top 10. Uh, I wasn't going to exclude this figure, but definitely a badass figure. And I'm happy to have him, and thank you Yamaguchi for making him. On to the next one. And my number 7 pick for SH Figure Arts of the Year is going to be a tie. Um, I have a really hard time deciding between these two. Um, the SH Figure Arts Ryu I recently got in October from Nick Steele. Shout out to you, man. Uh, thank you again. Uh, this is just an excellent figure. It's probably my favorite SH Figure Arts. Uh, my buddy Avenger Vasily, um, he doesn't have an SH Figure Arts at all. And me and Dante have been telling him that Ryu is the, uh, the first figure he should get. It's the way to go. It's an excellent figure. The mold on him is great. Uh, Bruce Lee looks amazing. They got his costume down to a T. Uh, he was in my top 10 last year. The uh, Enter the Dragon version. Or, you know, the version without the shirt. Uh, that was in my top 10 that last year. And this version had to be in my top 10 this year. They gave him the shoes, the costume, and the 3D printing of the face just came out great. So I had a really hard time deciding between these two because they both came with great accessories. They both look aesthetically, aesthetically awesome. <laughs> um, but these were my top two SH figure arts of the year. Again, I'm not rich. I can't buy every single line that SH puts out. I do like to get what I can when I can. Um, I didn't pick. I picked up more Yamaguchi and Mezco this year than I did uh, SH figure arts. So, yeah. On to my next one. And my number six pick is going to be Articulated Icons Solitaire. Um, I had a hard time deciding between the ninjas, but it's kind of obvious when you have Solitaire. Uh, he kind of shines above my ninjas. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get any of the samurais. I got three red ninjas, one black ninja, and Solitaire. Uh, that was my pre-order. I had ordered it, um, I want to say four months before they closed it. And I was sweating getting more, but uh, that was the most I could get at the time. Um, out of all of them, Solitaire is my favorite. The articulation is great on these figures. I've loved all the shots that I've done with them. Uh, I use Solitaire in probably all of them. Um, Articulate Icons did a great job this year. I'm a little disappointed in them, but overall I am very happy with them. Uh, disappointed because the articulation could have been a little bit better. Uh, as far as the abdomen goes, and just some some small things, some small gripes, not even a big deal. But I love this figure, I love the line, and I really hope they continue to grow. So let's go ahead and move on to my next one. And my number four pick is going to be the Mafex Nightmare Batman. So I really love this figure, the jacket looks awesome, his gloves look awesome, everything does. I like that it has the Batman suit underneath the jacket and the military pants. Uh, he came with a pistol, which is really cool, and the AK, which is awesome. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the movie, but I am a big fan of this figure. Um, I did just recently see Justice League, and that was an awesome movie. I am definitely looking forward to seeing the director's cut, because I felt like there was a lot missing in the script. Uh, but altogether, Justice League was an awesome movie. And let's go ahead and move on to my next figure. Alright, so before we get into my final three, there's a few Marvel Legends that I want to say that were really good that I didn't get. Uh, starting with the X-Men 2-pack, Phoenix and Cyclops. Still haven't been able to find that, so I'm going to have to track that down this year. Uh, Amazon's Luke Cage. Um, I'm going to have to buy that Defenders pack later on. Um... I guess I do want the Daredevil because it's a repaint. I do want the uh, Iron Fist with the dragon on his chest. And it'd be cool to get that uh, female figure. Whatever her costume name was, Jessica Jones. Um, 
the 12 inch X-Force Deadpool. Uh, still haven't been able to get my hands on that. Not that I'm really trying, but I do want to have all the 12 inch figures uh, collected. There's also the Toys R Us uh, Hydra 2 pack. I haven't even seen that thing anywhere. So that's pretty hard to find these days. Hopefully they're out again and they make a reprint and they're just flooded everywhere. That would be awesome. That's what they need to do. Um, the Toys R Us A-Force. I'm not really trying to get that, but that was a good six pack, a good um, collector's box set that I do want to collect. Uh, not trying too hard to get it, but I do think it was a really good pack. Some really good figures in there. Uh, again, the 12 inch Wolverine. Uh, I'm super excited for that. I'd consider that a 2018 figure. A few people got it in 2017, but it officially hasn't really hit the streets. Um, the STCC Battle for Asgard. Uh, I really do want that box set. Um, I want that Thor that came in there. Uh, I want the Thor and the Ulic and the Malekith. So as far as some other toy brand goes, uh, I do have the Mezco Deathstroke on pre-order. Um, I do have the Old Man Logan on pre-order. And I am thinking about pre-ordering and Gladiator Hulk, but I'll have to see how much those are later on. Um, the Flash and Zoom characters are pretty cool, but I don't think I'm really trying to get them. I do want that Russian Superman. That one's pretty cool. Uh, I do want the movie Batman. I do have the movie Superman. Um, I do want some Samurais from Articulated Icons. SH Figure Arts put out, you know, tons of figures this year. Um, I do want to get this homemade Spider-Man suit. I do want to get the Mafex Spider-Man. And there was a bunch of 3A stuff that came out that I do really want to get. The Blind Horseman, the Horse, uh, the UK guy with the jacket, and a bunch of those figures I'm dying to get my hands on. But they're so hard to come by and they're so expensive. And my number three pick for figure of the year is Mezco Punisher. Um, I bet this is figure of the year for a lot of people. Um, he comes with so many accessories. The head sculpts alone add so much character to this character. And the fact that he comes with little cloth, the armor, the gloves, the boots, it's just everything works perfect with this figure. Uh, I'm very happy I got him. I got him from Bud right when he came out, so thank you, Bud. Shout out to ACBA. Um, really cool figure. Um, probably my number one, uh, number one Mezco figure that I do own. Uh, I did just get Deadpool, and that's a really cool figure. Uh, I just reviewed him and did some shots with him. If you want to go ahead and check that out, uh, let's go ahead and move on. And my number two figure of the year is definitely the Rebel Tech Yamaguchi. Wolverine. This is such a badass figure. I love freaking Yo. everything about it. The claws came out great. The faces came out great. The accessories came out great. Um, I love the joint system. And of course, he looks like he's from Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which everybody wanted. Everybody has always wanted this figure. Tons of people have been taking pictures with him. I have already, and I've got tons more plans. So, this is definitely, definitely deserving. And it was hard for me to pick between the number one and this one, but he's definitely my number two pick for figure of 2017. Uh, but yeah, he is definitely my figure of 2017. But yeah, he's definitely my second favorite figure of 2017. And let's go ahead and move on to my number one figure. And that is... My number one pick of the year is... Rebel Tech Yamaguchi Magneto. This figure is so awesome. I'm so excited to have it. It's the figure I've always wanted. Magneto is always a hard figure for these companies to kind of nail. And Yamaguchi kind of, in my opinion, they did. It's the, uh, it's the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Magneto, in my opinion. Um, a lot of people bitch and complain about the cape. But that's, I'm fine with it. I actually love it. Uh, go ahead and don't buy the figure. I'll be the only one shooting it. 
but I love this figure. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to stand on his own without a stand. Right now, I have him leaning up on a box with the cape, but that doesn't bother me at all. Again, in the photography that we're doing, that's what these figures are meant for. That's why I buy these figures. Um, I really love the photography aspect of all this stuff. I do love collecting, but again, my room is a mess right now and I barely have anything displayed. But it's photography that I love. Uh, I love taking pictures, I love setting up the lights, I love posing, I love every single thing about these figures. Um, but Magneto is definitely my favorite figure of the year. And if you guys don't have him already, he is worth every penny. It's definitely, definitely my favorite figure. I actually really like it without the mask. <laughs> the mask is really badass, but I really like having an unmasked Magneto. Alright guys, that's going to be it for my 2017 figures of the year. Uh, I hope you liked my opinion. <laughs> if you haven't already, please subscribe, please leave a comment, and please leave a like. Definitely stay tuned for more of my reviews, definitely stay tuned for more of my behind the shots. Um, I, should be, I should have an episode of Urban Figuration coming out really soon. Um, I've been working a whole lot, but I'm about to have a fat paycheck come in, and I'm going to go toy hunting. And I'm going to show you guys some of the comic shops out here in San Diego. Um, so definitely, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.